Yes. Can we talk? Yeah, of course we can talk. Come on, talk. I can't talk like this. You're busy on the phone. I have to work. This is work, and I'm listening. My ears are open. But I'm not comfortable talking like this. I'll talk to you later when your work is done. Okay, fine. Talk to me later. Hi guys. I am Nikita. This is Gautam. Welcome to our outdoor session. Today our topic is disagreement. Is it healthy to have disagreements in marriage? But before we dive into this deep question, first of all, we need to understand why do we have disagreements? That's a good question. Let's look into it. As you saw in the starting, we were having a disagreement. And if why we have were having a disagreement, the reason was because we both have different personality she is different i am different i was reading about one of the author uh he wrote about marriage and he uh, wrote something like this if a woman is from mars the man is from venus he was trying to depict that both of uh the part both, both of the partners are from different world that's true so since we are two different personalities who are uniquely for and then disagreement leads to argument and then we attack our spouse and try to win the conversation or an argument so there is a major thing here that we tend to forget we tend to forget that we are a couple mm. and we both are on the same team if one of us loses then we both lose. Now, let's get back to our original question. Is it healthy to have a disagreements in marriage? Certainly. It's very good to have disagreements because they are very beneficial mm. in order to know your spouse. You get to know your spouse, what he or she is feeling and what his or her opinions are. So if you're having too many arguments, or too many disagreements in your marriage. Is it your marriage is failing? Certainly not. Mm. That's not true. Disagreements are very vital in a marriage. But I must say, if you are not having disagreements, then there might be a possibility of a volcanic eruption mm. sooner or later, which is going to destroy everything in the family. So if that is important, if uh, disagreements are important they are healthy for marriage let's discuss about this question how to have healthy disagreements certainly we're going to discuss about the hacks that we have found to be very useful in our disagreements we will share it with you okay, so the first hack is listen and acknowledge the perspective of your spouse most of the time we feel unheard and in order to be heard, we want to give our talk the priority. But I want to ask this very serious question. How often do we tend to or make an effort to listen to our spouse or know what he or she is feeling or what his or her thoughts are? So 
really going and just listening to your spouse is so important. That's true. Hearing your spouse out is a very vital role in marriage. If you're not hearing out your spouse, your marriage is in danger. The second hack is seek to understand what the disagreement was really about. Very often we get carried away by the thought of winning the disagreement. You want to win the disagreement, but we forget the root cause. Why did the disagreement start? Actually, that, that disagreement can tell you a lot about your spouse if you're interested in learning about your spouse. That tells a lot about your spouse. So I would say it's a precious moment if you're having a disagreement to know your spouse better through that disagreement. That's correct. So guys, the third hack is look for creative ways to compromise and yet keep on honoring your spouse. Yes, you know, sometimes we do have an argument about going to our parents' house and uh, I get upset and we have a good amount of disagreement. But that can honor, I can honor her by telling her that this month we can go to your parents' house and next month I, we can go to our parents' house, which is respecting and honoring each other. That's right. This leads to the next uh, hack. The fourth hack is... What's the fourth hack? The fourth hack is commit to praying. Last but not the least, definitely commit to praying, both as an individual and as a couple. You know, disagreements can be fruitful if you're steering it in the right direction. So thank you so much for watching our video. We hope you liked it. Please tell us what you think about it. Yeah, please put some questions as well.